I am Gregory Jordan Smith, a country boy from Somerville, Georgia. I joined the Air Force at the age of 18. We provide communication for uh, Army Rangers. We provide communication for uh, pilots of different kinds, A-10s, uh, F-16s, F-15s, uh, the whole uh, genre of pilots at different places in all over Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. And so you could be going anywhere. And so it was a requirement to come to work uh, with your bags packed, uh, if not in your office, then in the trunk of your car, ready to go at a moment's notice. As I got into the service, I found out it was a whole lot harder for me in my career field to go to school while doing my job. I was wanting to go to college, wanting to be a high school history teacher. I had a flight commander at the uh, First Combat Communication Squadron at Ramstein Air Base uh, suggest to me that I should apply for the Air Force Academy and then I got accepted to come here to the prep school. The mission of the prep school is to prepare us for the Air Force Academy. Being stubborn, I would work on this uh, while I was in transition from one TDY to the next. I had to form, uh, fill out a form 1786, I think it is, and it's asking you to write a uh, kind of like a statement of why you want to be an Air Force officer, why do you want to go to the Air Force Academy more specifically, and talk a, bit, a little bit about your leadership opportunities and those things, and, and why you think you could be a leader of character. Letter of recommendation from your commander. They send you out like a book full of paperwork and requirements. And so I took the SAT, the ACT. I had to do a very unique PT test. I had gotten back from Afghanistan uh, and when I got back I would forgot about ever even applying. My commander secretary called me and said we're having a uh, squad huddle and you need to be there. I'm like okay. He said uh, it's my privilege to uh, tell Airman First Class Gregory Smith that in five years he'll be second lieutenant. It was more physical here, probably doing the push-ups and sit-ups and pull-ups and because the uh, PFT that we have to do as uh, cadet candidates and as cadets up on the hill is definitely harder than the Air Force PT test. But after being out of school for two years, I kind of, because I didn't use my math skills every day of my work, I didn't, you know, do those type of things, I lost it. I have a MPA, a military performance uh, average of 3.0 or higher, it's in the top 10% of my squad. The biggest goal for me is to be put in a servant leadership position. I just want to take care of people. The greatest opportunity for me is to be able to serve my country by serving other people. I'm on par, but I haven't met what my own goes as far as I'd like to have above a 3.5 instead of a 3.159. A good sense of humor is the biggest thing for you to be able to stay here. Look at cleaning a toilet as an opportunity to sing in a porcelain microphone or something. Uh, English is something I've just always been good at it, even though you can't tell by the way I talk. When you're out in, in Kabul, Afghanistan, and you haven't taken a bath in 30 days, and you have to go dig a hole that you were about to use the restroom in, you know, uh, that's not for the, the faint of heart. <laughs> that's not for somebody that, you know, uh, doesn't have morals and, and character that really want to make a difference. And so the, the thing is, is when those points of life occur, when it seems like things are really bad, then you just keep, you put on a smile and you keep going, you know. Uh, you come back from uh, digging your hole out in the middle of the desert and you're motivated. I don't care if I stink, I don't care if I, you know, uh, haven't ate anything but an MRE and I don't know how long, I'm still going to be positive, I'm still going to be motivated because I'm getting to serve my country. I'm getting to you know, serve my family members, protect my family members and friends back home. I'm getting to make a difference and I'm getting to be a part of something that's bigger than me and not me, uh, everyone in the, the country can say that.